and I did the um, was one of the education volunteers at that. And I thought, for all my misconceptions, I've got to sacrifice a day of my time um, for Imam Hussein, alayhi salam. There's, there's classes that I go to every week where I learn um, a lot of really um, valuable information. Um, the Wahhabi Sisters group I've, I used to go to, I haven't been in touch with them for a while. One of them sent me a text last week saying they've got an event on, on Saturday. I just said, uh, you know, I hope you have a nice Ramadan, you know. I, I can't come along, unfortunately. I mean, next time she phones me up and I speak to her face to face, I'll tell her, you know, if she's got a problem with that, you know, I've got no problems. To me, she's still a Muslim, you know. They... Um, they might think that um, they say, oh, you know, really, is she a kafir? That's what they say. If she wants to think of me like that, I've got no animosity towards them, you know. If they've got that problem with me, that's their problem. I've got no, they're still Muslims to me. If they want to think of me, no, more, no longer a Muslim, that is, that's the thing they've got to deal with that. Sure. I just want to enlighten other, other non-Muslims and other Sunni Muslims about the misconceptions that there are and how there's um, things that they don't know. I mean, there are people out there who are... You've got people who they call... They say they're people who are Holocaust deniers. These days you've got people who are Kabbalah deniers. They know about it, but they don't want to talk about it. And I want to enlighten people that we're all Muslims, one, one side... And it's only, I think, a minority of... I, I don't know whether it is a minority these days, but um, a minority of Sunnis who say that Shia are kafir. I hope it's only a minority, but there does seem to be a widening sectarian division these days. P uh, it's right to say to other moderate Sunnis that um, we are all Muslims, we're just different, like, schools of thought. And um, they should be shown that what we believe um, doesn't make us kafir, that we don't commit shirk. And to know the truth about Kabbalah, and to know the truth about what happened to the Lady Fatima, alayhi salam. Well, I'm very thankful for the channel because I wouldn't have come across the truth so quickly if it hadn't. And it was just seemed... To, it meant to me like this was an act of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I came across the channel. I always say nothing happens by chance. Why was it at the beginning of Muharram that I came across that channel, you know? It was there as a guidance for me to show me the truth. I'm, and I'm really thankful for the channel for um, getting the truth to me so soon. I didn't have to wait longer for it. I'm sure um, eventually I would have looked for the right answers. You know, um, but Allah guided my hand and my heart to finding the truth quicker. I had a strong connection with the um, character of Imam Hussein because I've always been, although I don't actually, I got disillusioned with politics, I've always been a person who's been interested in standing up for what's right. And the fact that he just stood up with 72 people against an army of 30,000 on that day just for the sake of, for the sake of what was right and for Islam, and also the character, I know he wasn't part of the Atlul Bayt, the character of General Hur, who went over to the side of Imam Hussein, who said, I'm not going to just obey orders. Like in lots of war crimes trials, we see someone say, I was just obeying orders. He said, I'm not going to obey orders. I'm going to go to the side of what's right. The, the side of Imam Hussein, who stood up for, and Islam, who stood up for the true Islam. Which, um, and that's what I wanted. I thought like the Wahhabis and the Salafis had the answer to true Islam, but they've missed out. They're missing out on a lot. And the whole spirituality of Shia, of the Shia side, you know?